the Forgotten Books of Eden, we're now in book two. Today we're covering chapters one through ten. Seth is born and Satan appears as a beautiful woman tempting Adam, telling him he is still a youth and the different forms which Satan takes. So we're going to get into chapter one in book two. The grief-stricken family, Cain marries Lulua, and they move away. Verse 1. When Lulua heard Cain's words, she wept and went to call her father and mother and told them how that Cain had killed his brother Abel. Then they all cried aloud and lifted up their voices and slapped their faces and threw dust upon their heads and went asunder their garments and went out and came to the place where Abel was killed. And they found him lying on the earth killed and beast around him, while they wept and cried because of this just one. From his body, by reason of its purity, went forth the smell of sweet spices. And Adam carried him, his tears streaming down his face, and went to the cave of treasures, where he laid him and wound him up with sweet spices and myrrh. And Adam and Eve continued by the burial of him in great grief, a hundred and forty days. Abel was fifteen and a half years old, and Cain seventeen years and a half. As for Cain, when the mourning for his brother was ended, he took his sister Lulua and married her without leave from his father and mother, for they could not keep him from her by reason of their heavy heart. He then went down to the bottom of the mountain away from the garden near to the place where he had killed his brother. And in the place were many fruit trees and forest trees. His sister bare him children, who in their turn began to multiply by degrees until they filled that place. But as for Adam and Eve, they came not together after Abel's funeral for seven years. After this, however, Eve conceived, and while she was with child, Adam said to her, Come, let us take an offering and offer it up until El Elohim Haya and ask him to give us a fair child in whom we may find comfort and whom we may join in marriage to Abel's sister. Then they prepared an offering and brought it up to the altar and offered it before El Elohim Haya and began to entreat him to accept their offering and to give them a good offspring. And El Elohim Haya heard Adam and accepted his offering. Then they worshipped Adam and Eve and their daughter, and came down to the cave of treasures, and placed the lamp in it, to burn by night and by the day before the body of Abel. Then Adam and Eve continued fasting and praying until Eve's time came that she could be that she should be delivered, when she said to Adam, I wish to go to the cave in the rock to bring forth it in it. And he said, Go, and take with thee thy daughter to wait on thee but I will remain in the cave of treasures before the body of my son Abel. Then Eve hearkened to Adam and went she and her daughter, but Adam remained by himself in the cave of treasures. Chapter 2 A third son is born to Adam and Eve. And Eve brought forth the son perfectly beautiful in figure and in countenance. His beauty was like that of his father Adam, yet more beautiful. Then Eve was comforted when she saw him and remained eight days in the cave, then she sent her daughter unto Adam to tell him to come and see the child and name her. But the daughter stayed in his place by the body of her brother until Adam returned. So did she. But when Adam came and saw the child's good looks, his beauty and his perfect figure, he rejoiced over him and was comforted for Abel. And then he named the child Seth. That means that El Elohim has heard my prayer and has delivered me out of my affliction but it also means power and strength. Then after Adam had named the child, he returned to the cave of treasures, and his daughter went back to her mother. But Eve continued in her cave until forty days were fulfilled when she came to Adam and brought with her the child and her daughter. And they came to a river of water where Adam and his daughter washed themselves because of their sorrow of Abel. But Eve and the babe washed for purification, then they returned and took an offering and went to the mountain and offered it up for the babe. And El Elohim accepted their offering and said his blessing upon them and upon their son Seth. And they came back to the cave of treasures. As for Adam, he knew not again his wife Eve all the days of his life. Neither was any more offspring born of them, but only those five, Cain, Lulua, Abel, Achilia, and Seth alone. 
but Seth waxed in stature and in strength and began to fast and pray fervently. Chapter 3 Satan appears as a beautiful woman tempting Adam, telling him he is still a youth. Spend thy youth in mirth and pleasure. The different forms which Satan takes. As for our father Adam, at the end of seven years from the day he had been severed from his wife Eve, Satan envied him when he saw him thus separated from her and strove to make him live with her again. Then Adam arose and went up above the cave of treasures and continued to sleep there night by night. But as soon as it was light every day, he came down to the cave to pray there and to receive a blessing from it. But when it was evening, he went up on the roof of the cave where he slept by himself, fearing lest Satan should overcome him. And he continued thus apart thirty-nine days. Then Satan, the hater of all good, when he saw Adam thus alone, fasting and praying, appeared unto him in the form of a beautiful woman, who came and stood before him in the night of the fortieth day, and said unto him, O oh Adam, from the time ye have dwelt in the, this cave, we have experienced great peace from you, and your prayers have reached us, and we have con been comforted about you. But now, O oh Adam, that thou hast gone up over the roof of the cave to sleep, we have had doubts about thee, and a great sorrow has come upon us because of thy separation from Eve. Then again, when thou art on the roof of this cave, thy prayer is poured out, and thy heart wanders from side to side. But when thou wast in the cave, thy prayer was like fire gathered together, it came down to us, and thou didst find rest. Then I also grieved over thy children who are servant from thee, and my sorrow is great about the murder of thy son Abel. For he was righteous, and over a righteous man every one will grieve. But I rejoice over the birth of thy son Seth, yet after a little while I sorrow greatly over Eve, because she is my sister. For when Elohim Ahiah sent a deep sleep over thee, and drew her out of thy side, he brought me out also with her. But he raised her by placing her with thee, while he lowered me. I rejoiced over my sister for having been with thee. But Elohia High had made me a promise before, and said, Grieve not when Adam has gone up on the roof of the cave of treasures, and is separated from Eve, his wife. I will send thee to him. Thou shalt join thyself to him in marriage, and bear him five children, as Eve did bear him five. And now, lo, O Elohia Hiah's, promise me is fulfilled for it is he who has sent me to thee for the wedding because if thou wed me i shall bear thee finer and better children than those of eve then again thou art as yet but a youth in not thy youth in this world is in sorrow but spend thy days of thy youth in myrrh and pleasure for thy days are few and thy trial is great be strong in thy days in this world in rejoicing I shall take pleasure in thee, and thou shalt rejoice with me in this wise and without fear. Up then, and fulfill the command of thy Elohia Haya. She then drew near to Adam, and embraced him. But when Adam saw that he should be overcome by her, he prayed to Elohia Haya with a fervent heart to deliver him from her. Then Elohia Haya sent his word, Yeshaya, or Yahuasha, unto Adam, saying, O oh Adam, that figure is the one that promised thee the Elohim head or the Godhead and in majesty he is not favorable disposed toward thee but shows himself to thee at one time in the form of a woman and another moment he in the likeness in if in an angel on another occasion in the similitude of a serpent and at another time in the semblance of an El of Elohi Ahia, but he does all that only to destroy thy soul. Now therefore, o Adam, understand thy heart, I have delivered thee many a time from his hand, in order to show thee that I am merciful, El Elohi Ahia, and that I wish thy good, and that I do not wish thy ruin. So there we have it, folks. Uh, in chapter 3, it sounds like many people think there is a Lilith, uh, an another wife of Adam, but it sounds like that was actually Satan in disguise. So we're heading to chapter 4. Adam sees the devil in his true colors. Then El Elohia ordered Satan to show himself to Adam plainly in his own hideous form. But when Adam saw him, he feared and trembled at the sight of him. And El Elohia said to Adam, Look at this devil and at his hideous look, and know 
that he it is who made thee fall from brightness into darkness, from peace and rest to toil and misery. And look, O Adam, at him who said of himself that he is Elohim, Ahiah. Can Elohim Ahiah be black? Would Elohim Ahiah take a form of a woman? There is any one stronger than Elohim Ahiah, and can he be overpowered? So I don't know about the colors or anything like that, guys. So I'm just reading from this. So we all scriptures are for edifying and for profitable for righteousness and dividing the word of truth. So we're going to get into verse 5. See then, O Adam, and behold him bound in thy presence in the air, unable to flee away. Therefore I say unto thee, Be not afraid of him. Henceforth take care and beware of him in whatever he may do to thee. Then Elohim Ahiah drove Satan away from before Adam, whom he strengthened, and whose heart he comforted, saying to him, Go down to the cave of treasures, and separate not thyself from Eve. I will quell in you all animal lust. From that hour it left Adam and Eve, and they enjoyed the rest by the commandment of Elohim Ahiah. But Elohim Ahiah did not delight to any one of Adam's seed, but only to Adam and Eve. Then Adam worshipped before Elohim Ahiah for having delivered him and for having laid his passions. And he came down from above the cave and dwelt with Eve as aforetime. This ended the forty days of his separation from Eve. Chapter 5 The devil paints a brilliant picture for Seth to feast his thoughts upon. 1. As for Seth, when he was seven years old, he knew good and evil, and was consistent in fasting and praying, and spent all his nights in entreating El Elohim Ahiah for mercy and forgiveness. He also fasted when bringing up his offering every day more than his father did, for he was of a fair countenance like unto an angel of Elohim Ahiah. He also had a good heart preserved that the finest qualities of his soul, and for this reason he brought up an offering every day. And Elohim Ahiah was pleased with his offering, but he was also pleased with his purity. And he continued thus in doing the will of Elohim Ahiah and of his father and mother until he was seven years old. After that, as he was corming down from the altar, or coming down from the altar, having ended his offering, Satan appeared unto him in the form of a beautiful angel, brilliant with light, with a staff of light in his hand, himself girt about with a girdle of light. He greeted Seth with a beautiful smile and began to beguile him with fair words, saying to him, O oh Seth, why abidest thou in this mountain? For it is rough, full of stones and of sand and of trees with no good fruit of on them, a wilderness without inhabitation and without towns, no good place to dwell in it, but all this heat, weariness, and trouble. He said further, but we dwell in a beautiful places in another world than this earth. Our world is one of light, and our condition is of the best. Our women are handsomer than any others, and I wish thee, O Set, to wed one of them, because I see that thou art fair to look upon, and in this land there is not one woman good enough for thee, besides all those who live in this world, or only five souls. But in our world there are very many men and many maidens, all more beautiful one than another. I wish therefore to remove thee hence, that thou mayest see my relations, and be wedded to whichever thou likest. Thou shalt then abide by me, and be at peace, and thou shalt be filled with splendor and light as we are. Thou shalt remain in our world, and rest from this world and the misery of it. Thou shalt never again feel faint and weary. Thou shalt never bring up an offering, nor soul for mercy, for thou shalt commit no more sin, nor be swayed by passions. And if thou wilt hearken to what I say, thou shalt wed one of my daughters, for with us it is no sin so to do, neither is it reckon animals' lust. For in our world we have no God, but we are all gods. We all are of the light, heavily powerful, strong, and glorious. Chapter 6 Seth conscience help him, he returns to Adam and Eve. When Seth heard these words, he was amazed and inclined his heart to Satan's treacherous speech and said to him, Saidest thou there is in another world created than this, and other creatures more beautiful than the creatures that are in this world? 
And Satan said, Yes, behold, thou hast heard me, but I will yet praise them in their ways in thy hearing. But Seth said to him, Thy speech has amazed me in thy beautiful description of it all, yet I cannot go with thee today. Not until I have gone to my father Adam and to my mother Eve and told them of thou hast said to me, then if they give me leave to go with thee, I will come. Again Seth said, I am afraid of doing anything without my father and mother's leave, lest I perish like my brother Cain and like my father Adam, who has transgressed the commandments of El Elohim. But behold, thou knowest this place come, and meet me here tomorrow. When Satan heard this, he said to Seth, If thou tellest thy father Adam what I have told thee, he will not let thee come with me. But hearken to me, do not tell thy father and thy mother what I have said to thee, but come with me today to our world. There thou shalt see beautiful things, and enjoy thyself there, and reveal this day among my children, beholding them and taking thy fill of mirth, and rejoice evermore. Then I shall bring thee back to this place tomorrow but if thou wouldest rather abide with me so be it then seth answered the spirit of my father and of my mother hangs on me and if i hide from them one day they will die and the little higher will hold me guilty of sinning against them and except that they know i am come to this place to bring up to it my offering they would not be separated from me one hour neither shall i go to any other place unless they let me but they treat me most kindly because i come back to them quickly then satan said to him what will happen to thee if thou hide thyself from them one night and return to them a break of at break of day but said when he saw how he kept on talking and that he would not leave him ran and went up to the altar and spread his hands unto the Elohim and sought deliverance from him. Then the Elohim sent his word Yeshia or Yahuasha and cursed Satan who fled from him. But as for Seth, he had gone up to the altar, saying thus in his heart, The altar is the place of offering, and Elohim is there. A divine fire shall consume it, so shall Satan be unable to hurt me, and shall not take me away thence. Then Seth came down from the altar and went to his father and mother, whom he found in the way, longing to hear his voice, for he had tarried a while. He then began to tell them what had befallen him from Satan under the form of an angel. But when Adam heard his account, he kissed his face and warmed him against that and warned him against that angel, telling him it was Satan who thus appeared to him. Then Adam took Seth, and they went to the cave of treasures and rejoiced therein. But from that day forth, Adam and Eve never parted from him to whatever place he might go, whether for his offering or for anything else. This sign happened to Seth when he was nine years old. Chapter 7 Seth marries Akilah. Adam lives to see grandchildren and great-grandchildren. And great when our father Adam saw that Seth was of a perfect heart, he wished him to marry lest the enemy should appear to him another time and overcome him. So Adam said to his son, said, I wish, O my son, that thou wed thy sister Achelia, Abel's sister, that she may bear thee children, who shall replenish the earth according to El Elohim's promise to us. Be not afraid, O my son, there is no disgrace in it. I wish thee to marry from fear, lest the enemy overcome thee. Seth, however, did not wish to marry, but in obedience to his father and mother, he said not a word. So Adam married him to Achelia. And he was fifteen years old, but when he was twenty years of age, he begat a son, whom he called Enos, and then begat another, other children than him. Then Enos grew up and married and begat Canaan, and Canaan also grew up and married and begat Mahalalel. Those fathers were born during Adam's lifetime and dwelt by the cave of treasures. Then were the days of Adam nine hundred and thirty years, and those of Mahalalel one hundred. But Mahalaleel, when he was grown up, loved fasting, praying, and with hard labors until the end of our father's Adam days drew near. Chapter 8 Adam's remarkable last word. He predicts the flood. He exhorts his offspring to good. He reveals certain mysteries of life. When our father Adam saw that his end was near, he called his son Seth, who came to him in the cave of treasures, and he said unto him, O Seth, my son, bring me thy children and thy children's children, that I may shed my blessing on them ere I die. When Seth heard these words from his father Adam, he went from him and shed a 
flood of tears over his face and gathered together his children and his children's children and brought them to his father Adam. But when our father Adam saw that them around him, he wept at having to be separated from them. And when they saw him weeping, they all wept together and fell upon his face, saying, How shall thou be served from us, O our father? And how shall the earth receive thee and hide thee from our eyes? Thus did they lament much and in like words. Then our father Adam blessed them all and said to Seth after he had blessed them, O Seth, my son, thou knowest this world, that it is full of sorrow and of weariness, and thou knowest all that has come upon us from our trials in it. And I therefore flow command thee in these words to keep innocency, to be pure and just and trusting in El Elohiahiah, and lean not to the disclosures of Satan, nor to the apparitions in which he will show himself to thee. But keep the commandments that I give thee this day, then give the same to the, thy son Enos, let Enos give it to his son Canaan, and Canaan to his son Mahalaleo, so that this commandment abide firm among all your children. O oh, Seth, my son, the moment I am dead, take ye my body and wind it up with myrrh, aloes, and cassia, and leave me here in the, this cave of treasures in which are all these tokens which Elohiahiah gave us from the garden. O oh, my son, hereafter shall a flood come and overwhelm all creatures and leave out only eight souls. But O oh, my son, let those whom it will leave out from among your children at that time take my body with them out of this cave, and when they have taken it with them, let the oldest among them command his children to lay my body in a ship until the flood has been assured, and they come out of the ship. And then they shall take my body and lay it in the middle of the earth, shortly after that has been saved from the waters of the flood. For the place where my body shall be laid is the middle of the earth. And the little Hiahiah shall come from thence and shall save all our kindred. But now, O Seth, my son, place thyself at the head of thy people, Tend them and watch over them in the fear of El Elohiahiah, and lead them in the good way. Command them to fast until Elohiahiah, and make them understand that they ought not to hearken to Satan, lest he destroy them. Then again sever thy children, thy children's children from Cain's children. Do not let them ever mix with those, nor come near them either in their words or in their deeds. Then Adam let his blessing descend upon Seth. Seth and upon his children and upon all his children's children. He then turned to his son Seth and to Eve his wife and said to them, Preserve this gold, this incense, and this mirth that El High has given us for a sign, for in the days that are coming a flood will overwhelm the whole creation. But those who shall go into the ark shall take with them the gold, the incense, and the myrrh, together with my body, and will lay the gold, the incense, and the myrrh with my body in the midst of the earth. Then uh, after a long time the city in which the gold, the incense, and the myrrh are found with my body shall be plundered. But when it is spoiled, the gold, the incense, and the myrrh shall be taken care of with the spoil that is kept, and not of them shall perish until thy word, Yeshia of El Elohiahiah, made man, shall come. When king shall take them and shall offer to him gold in token of his being king, incense in token of his being El Elohiahiah of heaven and earth, and mirth in token of his passion, gold also as a token of his overcoming Satan and all our foes incense as a token that he will rise from the dead and be exalted above things in heaven and things in the earth and myrrh is token that he will drink bitter gall and feel the pains of hell from satan and now o seth my son behold i have revealed unto you the hidden mysteries which Elohiah had revealed unto me keep my commandment for thyself and for thy people chapter nine the death of adam when Adam had ended his commandment to Seth, his limbs were loosened, his hands and feet loosed all power, his mouth became dumb, and his tongue ceased altogether to speak. He closed his eyes and gave up the ghost. But when his children saw that he was dead, they threw themselves over him, men and women, old and young, weeping. The death of Adam took place at the end of nine hundred and thirty years that he lived upon the earth on the fifteenth day of Burda after the reckoning of an epoch of the sun at the ninth hour. It was on a 
fifth day, no, the sixth day, the they have Friday on here. It was on a Friday, so that's like this, the sixth day. The very day on which he was created, on which he rested, and the hour at which he died was the same as that at which he came out of the garden. Then set a wound him up well and embalmed him with plenty of sweet spices from sacred trees and from the holy mountain and he laid his body on the eastern side of the inside of the cave the side of the incense and placed in front of him a lamp standing kept burning then his children stood before him weeping and wailing over him the whole night until break of day then Seth and his son Enos and Canaan the son of Enos went out and took good offering to present it to El Elohiahiah, and they came to the altar into which Adam offered gifts to El Elohiahiah when he did offer. But Eve said to them, Wait until we have first asked El Elohiahiah to accept our offering and to keep by him the soul of Adam, his servant, and to take it up to rest. And they all stood up and prayed. The last chapter for today, chapter 10. Adam was the first. And when they had it ended their prayer, the word Yeshaya of El Elohiahiah came and comforted them concerning their father Adam. And this they offered their gift for themselves and for their father. And when they had ended their offering, the word Yeshaya of El Elohiahiah came to Seth, the eldest among them, saying unto him, O oh, Seth, 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 three times, as I was with thy father so also shall i be with thee until the fulfillment of the promise i made him thy father saying i will send my word yeshia and save thee and thy seed but as to thy father adam keep thou the commandment he gave thee and serve thy seed from that of cain thy brother and hallelujah higher would you his word yeshia from seth then seth Eve and their children came down from the mountain to the cave of treasures. But Adam was the first whose soul died in the land of Eden in the cave of treasures, for no one died before him but his son Abel, who died murdered. Then all the children of Adam rose up and wept over their father Adam and made offering to him one hundred and forty days. And that is the end of the chapter. And we will get into book two, chapters eleven on that tomorrow we give thanks to El Elohi Ahia and his begotten Yeshaya, Yahushua, the Messiah coming back for us, which is Yeshaya or Ahia in the flesh. We give thanks, honor, praise, and glory to Ahia. Amen.